In this final video we're going to have a look at naming your project, exporting your finished video and also how to transfer video from your iPhone or your iPod or your iPad mini onto the iPad. So let's get started. So we've got our project here, we're finished, we're ready to go. We need to go back to the main screen up here and what we're going to do is change the name of our project from the somewhat unimaginatively titled Project 1 by tapping on it getting rid of what we don't need and we'll call it Scattercat. No, we don't need the automatic correction. Minimize, we're all ready to go and we've got the date it was created and how long it lasts as well. Once that's done, our project's there and saved, we actually want to take the video out to do other things with it. So, clicking down the bottom here, we can share it to a camera roll, which is the first step of taking into another project, like at Explain Everything or sharing it through Edmodo. You can also take, send it straight to YouTube. I tend to put most of my videos on my YouTube channel. I find it much easier when I'm then trying to embed it in eBooks. It doesn't take up so much space. You can also send to Facebook or Vimeo, CNN, iReport, or you can send the project to iTunes. So plenty of options there for what you do with your finished project. And the last thing I wanted to show you was how to pop some video that you've taken on another iDevice onto the iPad because walking around holding the iPad up not only looks slightly strange but also a bit hard going on the arms after a while. So the handy little tool that you need is one of the two parts of the camera connection kit, this one here, which is designed to take a USB cord. So I can plug in my USB cord if I put it around the right way, there we go, and plug the other end into my iPhone. And what I'll do is plug this end into my iPad, there we go, and it automatically opens up my photos. And you'll see there's a new tab on the end here called camera because it sees it as a camera. And what it will do is load all my pictures and videos, and I can choose which ones I want to import. I can also do this with from my iPod to the iPad. I can do it from my iPad mini to the iPad. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work the other way around. So there you go. Last skills in the series, naming your project, exporting your videos and transferring video.